This should be the sound of my channel. Choke, choke, choke. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Well, actually I'm gonna kick off this video with the cook portion and the eating portion first. I'm gonna do it in reverse. So, I'm just getting started with beach fishing. And uh, so far, no pompano. This is my second whiting. The first one I got was really good. And uh, caught this one right out of the gate when I got to the, um, the beach. I really didn't even have time to record. But you can see, it's a nice white meat. It's nothing special, doesn't have a lot of flavor. The skin, they kind of have a slime to it. They're very slippery, tough to fillet. You can still feel they're a little slick here. So there's not a ton of meat on this, but there's enough for a little snack. So I'm gonna do something simple again. I'm gonna try, I've got two, I don't know which one to try. Orange ginger from Wegmans. I really wanna try this. I just don't think it's gonna go well with this fish. Or garlic Parmesan. I might try both, one of each. I'm gonna just try and uh, clean up the skin real quick. I don't have my fillet knife, but I've got my good Henkel here. I've had these knives for like 25 years, so they are pretty solid. Just sharpened them the other day, so they should get the job done. Let's see here. Because they're a little slippery, I'm gonna Try it like this. Kind of catching the paper towel. I don't know if this was a good deal or not. Seems to be working okay. I feel like I'm going into the paper towel a little bit. Pretty much all the meat worked out okay. Nice white meat. Clean that up just a little bit. Pin bones out of here. I don't feel much there. I'm just gonna put it on here for a sec. I'm gonna try the same thing with the paper towel, but I'm gonna try folding it in half. Sometimes a wet paper towel keeps it from sliding, keeps your cutting board from sliding, but let me see here, that's a little too thick. Doubled up. Alright, let's see. Usually on a bigger fillet, I'll cut backwards a little bit, make a little notch to grab, but there's really not a lot of extra meat to waste. So I'm trying to maximize the yield. Okay, so that got me started. Let's see here. little there but not wasting much kind of pulling the skin and pushing the knife through there we go hopefully there's no scales I'm gonna take a look that's the second one right there it is a little smelly as far as fresh fish goes, it's not like a snapper that has no smell. That's why I'm going to cook it outside on the grill. 
All right, kind of the fun part. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little of each seasoning, the Wegmans orange ginger and Wegmans garlic Parmesan. So that's probably gonna be it. And then I'm gonna put them in a little pan on the grill outside. I'm gonna use Publix peanut oil because it always makes the fish taste better in my opinion. And this should probably take about 10 seconds to cook up because it's not as thick as a fingernail. Now my lovely assistant, my wife, 10 years, happily married. At least I am. Are you? Yes. Yeah, good. <laughs> Actually, isn't this something? Two seasonings. <laughs> this one has a pop top, which is the garlic. Parmesan, and then this one has a twist off with a little shaker cap. All right, now for the most crucial part of the cooking process, putting the right amount of seasoning on. Voila. Not too much, not too little. Yeah, I don't know. Like emerald, bam. I know it's Come on, you need your own technique so we can take out the salt bay. You got it. Okay. It seemed like it was missing a little. Yeah, it definitely was. It wasn't You're going to put good. oil on this, right? Okay. If you were watching the video. I, I know. Oops. Right before the seasoning, I said peanut oil. Because right. yeah, he, he said dry rub's so not good. good. He's better. Just... You're like Vaughn. Great job. Give you a B. <coughs> wow. <laughs> so that's the orange ginger, as they'd say. In orange the ginger. Uh, it's orange ginger. Your no. TV's not broken, your phone's not broken, but that's the correct way to say it. Orange ginger from oh, yes. Florida. Oh, orange God. ginger from Florida. That's how you say it if you're from New I England. Mean, Keep that, that part, keep that part Hey, <laughs> and this, this is our garbage disposal. Willow. Hi, Willow. Hi. Oh. Hi it's also Willow. a part-time boxer. All right, we're gonna go out to the grill. I'm gonna heat it up and fire this bad boy up. Peanut oil is heating up, however. Side burner, it's gonna keep the fish smell out of the house. The peanut oil smells so good. All right, I only season one side, and I'm putting them on. Inside. It's so small. This one smells like the garlic. You can really smell the garlic parmesan. Let's see here. Oh. Got a buddy back in Northern Virginia that would say, money. This is so money. Now let's try the orange ginger. I knew this one was gonna be the, the better of the two. Let's see, so this is orange ginger. Orange ginger from Florida. That one's salty. Very salty, and I didn't put any additional salt on. I should have went with this one. All right, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing out here.
Oh, it's salty. My assistant had it right. I put way too much on. That one's good though, the Parmesan. This fish is freaking good. It's the second one I've caught and ate. It's the way fish should be. Oh, orange ginger salty. Ah, ruined. This absorbs flavor really well. I'm telling you, if you're beach fishing, these fish do not look like they're gonna be that tasty. They got a great consistency. Very enjoyable because it's so thin. Cooked really easy. I don't know why more people don't eat this or chase it. Can't wait to catch a uh, pompano and try that. Caught one once years ago, but I didn't keep it. Back to the Parmesan. Mmm. Way better. Parmesan. Oh, look at that. It's, it's perfect. This. I mean, that's fish at its best. Fresh fish. I love fish, all kinds of fish to eat. The only fish I'm not a fan of really is a flounder. I don't like the taste of flounder or sole. Other than that, there's not a fish in the sea I don't like. Wow, super, super good. Last bite. Well, thanks for watching the uh, cooking, cleaning, and eating part. Now you can stay tuned and watch the catching part. I lied, that was the last bite, kind of like last cast. You know, there's, there's always one more. in the new cooler.
so rough. It's so rough. Put that one on the uh, crab. The other ones, three pieces. Should be the sound of my channel, choke, choke, choke. Last cast here. 